My next guest is no stranger to Picture Lock. In fact, he came on to talk about his film last night just as it reached Picture Lock. Now it's torn through the festival circuit and made its way to the Rosebud Film Festival. Writer-director Harold Jackson III, welcome back, sir. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Now, uh, could you just give us a quick summary about last night, even though some viewers may have you know, heard yeah, when we talked yeah. about it? Uh, last night is a, a romance film. It's about um, a young woman who's uh, spending her last night in D.C. Uh, before she moves to North Carolina with her um, longtime boyfriend. Um, and of course she meets a guy in a happenstance way and one thing leads to another and they end up spending the night together. So the film is really about um, that night that they spend together. It's just the, the film takes place over 12 hours. Um, and uh, you know, what I really like about it, what's interesting about it is, is not only do we tell that story, but we also tell the story of uh, what's going on with her, with the uh, woman's boyfriend in North Carolina. So we have kind of two different films happening at the same time, but they're both connected. So it's pretty cool, man. What inspired you uh, to write the film, and did you have any influences? Because you know it can be compared to Linklater's uh, trilogy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it 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 can be compared to that. It also can be compared to have some some Woody Allen ish <laughs> yeah. things going on. So um, I, uh, I I just really wanted to I had a, I had a vision of these two people. Um, uh, sitting together and then it you know kind of evolved and why were they there well you know what's going on and you know once one thing led to another and it ended up being a film so um, it's different from the other stuff I've done uh, it's but it's also has my same sort of sensibilities in it which is which is uh, which works out real nice can you talk a little bit about how you shot it because I think one of the <laughs> things that I enjoyed and I think people that watch it is how much we actually get to see of DC Mm -hmm. um, you get to see some of the staples of DC, but also the the spots that yeah, yeah. you know. If you if you're in the know, yeah. you know what it is. Yeah, um, yeah, man. I um, uh, I just kind of wanted to celebrate DC. Um, I think it's a beautiful city. So we shot, like you said, a lot of those locations that you may have seen before in films. But then we also go into neighborhoods that you, I'm sure you haven't seen before in film. Um, we go. We shot a lot inside of uh, a lot of local DC restaurants. We shot at uh, Desperados, the Gibson, Eatonville. Uh, we were all up and down Dupont Circle, U Street, Chinatown. We were all over the place. So it really is really a film that just kind of celebrates um, celebrates the city and how attractive and how, how the kind of vibe that it creates and what that can do to people. Yeah, one of one of the questions that I had wondered about it. There's a, there's a scene where they go to uh, like a concert uh, within the film. Mm -hmm. Who is the the artist that was in it? And, uh. I mean that that's one. It sounded great, mm -hmm. and two, uh, she did an excellent job. Like, like just talking to them afterwards. Like I don't know, yeah, she's an yeah, actress yeah. as well. Yeah. But no, she's not. She's actually a singer. Her name is uh, Kia Elamin, uh, E L dash A M I N, um, and she's here local in D C. and um, when you see the film, we actually shot her um, at an open mic performance, so it wasn't uh, we didn't we didn't do multiple takes. We brought in four or five cameras wow. and we shot, you know, the angles and we and so what you're seeing is is her doing her thing, and then I talked to her into doing a little acting and uh, <laughs> she was she was surprisingly good at it. Right, um, right, exactly. yeah. So it, it, everything just kind of came together, man. It was it was real nice. So and we and we shot that in um, Bohemian Caverns off of. I think it's 11, 11th in you. Okay. Right in the city. And you just said that you uh, use about four or five uh, cameras in that scene. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about the actual production process? Did you use multiple cameras as you went through this? And like, mm -hmm. how long did it take to actually shoot the film? Uh, we shot the film uh, in about total of about four, 12 to 14 days, something like that. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, we shot four days in North Carolina. Um, and then the other days we shot in D.C. So you spent eight days, on because the majority of the film takes place in D.C. Mm -hmm. Eight days was everything in D.C. Uh, eight days was everything in D.C., plus uh, we cheated some of the interiors for North Carolina in D.C. Wow. So we, we figured out a way to get it all in there. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, man. That, that, yeah. That's really awesome. Can you talk a little bit about your... Um, your cast because you, mm -hmm. you definitely have a phenomenal cast and I, I love Judy Blair and just the mm -hmm. naturalism that she actually brings to the role. Yeah, um, uh, the, the main three, four players are um, 
Judy Blair, who I, I think is a movie star. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and um, um, she'll, I'm sure eventually it'll all come to pass and I'll be, I'll be first. Yeah. yeah. You know, I can say that. Um, and uh, Danny Gavigan, who is one of the strongest actors I've ever worked with. And he's just, um, he's one of those guys that, you know, comes to set and he makes everything better. He's got a great sense of humor, but he's also really kind of focused on his on his craft, man. So it's really nice to work with him. He always, he always kills for me. <laughs> um, and Benton Green, who I didn't know before shooting, mm -hmm. um, but he, uh, he auditioned and he, and he won uh, the, 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 the role. And um, I think he just did an incredible job, man. He's a really seasoned actor as well. He's out of New York. Um, and uh, I was really impressed by his, not only his work ethic, but just kind of what he what he brought to the to the to the character. It could have been easily one of those characters that kind of fades into the background, mm. but because of the things that he did, it really um, it really made it. You know, it really came together for us. And then uh, the last person is a woman named Nidra McClyde, and uh, I worked with Nidra before in a short, and she's. Um, she was wonderful in that. That was the first time I met her, and then when I was rolling into a new film, I knew she was one of the people I wanted to call because she's a great actor as well. So, most definitely. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that I enjoy most about the film is that um, even the secondary story, which is uh, Benton's story, mm -hmm. the boyfriend's story, I mean, they just it just felt so real and believable, and they felt like fully fleshed out characters. Mm -hmm. And I know that's, that has part, partially to do with writing, but then also with the, the cast. Um, I thought that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, some of it is, you know, it's writing, but there's also another element to the whole game, that, and that's what the actors bring, you know. I mean, good writing can be elevated to great writing, or mediocre writing can be elevated to good writing, <laughs> based on, you know, what, what these guys do with the work, so. Right. So if you like them, then uh, we we did something right. So can you just talk a little bit about um, your festival run so far? Because I know Rosebud mm -hmm. is not the first uh, stop on, on the circuit. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it did really, really well on the festival circuit. We won uh, best feature in uh, North Carolina. We won uh, best screenplay and audience choice in New York at the uh, American Black Film Festival. Um, uh, we we did. We, we did really well at the Indie Capital Awards. Um, I think we got Best Film and a couple of Best Actor Awards. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's really getting some real positive feedback. And uh, we've been to, we've been all over the place. We've been to Seattle, um, Texas, uh, um, pretty much everywhere but L.A. <laughs> That's pretty much the deal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you have any uh, thoughts and plans for where you want to take the film? Is distribution next, something that you mm -hmm. seek? Uh, distribution is next. Um, we actually got some really exciting news. We just got uh, uh, the first phase of our international distribution is secured, and that's going to be, it's actually being released next week um, in France and Belgium, uh, UK, Switzerland, wow. and most of Africa. So, you know. That's it's, awesome. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to circle back and do some domestic stuff. But right now, we've officially secured some uh, international distribution. We're obviously working to get more and more and uh, see what happens. Maybe get some network stuff. Uh, the DVD is coming out early next year. Um, right. So things are things are moving real, real nicely. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, so last question. Rosebud Film Festival mm -hmm. honors DC, Maryland, and Virginia filmmakers. Um, mm -hmm. What does it mean for you to have uh, your film in the festival this year? Um, this is my first time in the festival, and, I, and um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, and it, I think it's really, really, like this is a really good thing, and it's really important um, for for DC, Maryland, and Virginia filmmakers to get some sort of uh, notoriety and appreciation for all their hard work. Um, you know, just just going out and 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 traveling with the film and traveling with my other films. Um, when you tell people DC. They, you know, they're like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> you know, right. yeah, you right. know, they, you know, they want political dramas or you know, political documentaries and all that stuff. You know, that's all they see. That's all they hear. So, to to have something like this, you know, show a little bit of uh, different sort of takes on the city and, and the surrounding cities, man, it's is really important. And uh, you know, I really appreciate being here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so Harold, how could people reach out to you or mm -hmm. see some more of your work if they wanted to? Um, I have a website. It's haroldjackson3.com. Um, number three? The number three. Harold Jackson, the number three.com. 
The film has a uh, website, lastnightthefilm.com. Um, uh, just kind of follow me on Instagram and all that other stuff, man, at Harold Jackson 3. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on something new that uh, we got, we, um, we've just finished post on, so we're going to release it early next year. It's called Counselor, and it's a series, and that's, that's really exciting. And then uh, potentially, um, I don't want to throw, say too much, but I'm going to be producing alongside another DC producer, um, and we're, we're probably going to roll into a feature in March. All so, right. So we're getting, uh, we're getting there one step at a time, man. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah, well, yeah. congratulations on the success thus far, mm -hmm. and I'm wishing you continued success with the film and as uh, a talented filmmaker that you are. Oh, thank you, man. And uh, congratulations on the festival, man. I'm super <laughs> excited you. about it. No problem. All right, Harold. Thanks yeah. for coming on the show. No problem.